Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my next video. This video is being created on the request of one of my friends. In this video, we will see how to trigger a bot whenever a new file is being placed in a folder or a new file is being created. So before we start our discussion for today, I request every one of you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon so that you receive all the latest updates that we keep posting on our YouTube channel. So, we, so with that, let us start our discussion for today. So let us start our discussion for today. Go to the triggers action and from the triggers action under the files and folders package drag and drop the folder trigger and over here in the properties section browse for the required folder on which you want to set the trigger so i am selecting this folder and in the start the bot when drop down select file created as the option and then click on save now go to the actions panel and from the actions panel drag and drop the loop command from the loop package and in the iterator drop down select for each file in folder as the iterator and over here browse for the required folder from which we want to loop through the all the files from the source folder so I will loop through this folder so copy the path and paste it over here and store the output in a dictionary variable and then click on save now over here from the file package drag and drop the create file option and over here browse for the required folder location that is the source folder and select the file instead of giving the static file name we will give the dynamic file name so from the insert value drop down select the dictionary variable and in the dictionary key pass in the name that is the file name and then give the dot operator and again select the dictionary variable and then select the dictionary key as extension and then click on save Now from the trigger loop, drag and drop the loop from the trigger loop uh, package, drag and drop the trigger loop action and in this trigger loop, in the property section, in the trigger on drop down, select the file trigger and browse for the required folder location. and again over here pass in the dynamic file name so we will use the dictionary variable again and will pass in the same dictionary key that is for file name we will pass in the dictionary key as name and then the dot operator and again select the dictionary variable and and give the key as extension and then click on yes insert and check this chat box also start if it already exists in the start the bot when the file is uh, drop down select the created option which is 
selected by default and then click on save. Now from the taskbot action or package, drag and drop the run action and select the taskbot which you want to run upon the, when the trigger occurs and then click on choose after selecting the taskbot and then click on save. Now once first run is over then if we do if we do not give the break action from the trigger loop it will continue in the loop because until the next trigger happens it will continue to loop through this trigger loop so to run the next action we need to give this break action of the trigger loop package so drag and drop the break action from the trigger loop package and then click on save so now we will run the bot so before running the bot we will delete all the files from this destination folder so now we will run the bot As soon as we run the bot, the bot will be deployed on the system on which we are running the bot and the bot agent service will be invoked on which, we, on, which the, on which the bot is running on the system. Uh, there is some error at line number 2. It is saying as unable to create the file because the file already exists. Okay. So over here the create file option we have given the wrong folder name so we will correct the folder name that is instead of sample folder we will give in the trigger bot folder because in the trigger bot folder we have to create the file and then the trigger will occur or trigger will happen so now we will run the bot again So as you can see, we in the trigger loop handle, we have passed in the taskbot run and in that taskbot, we have given the message bots that is trigger bot example. And also you can see in the destination folder, first file has been created. As soon as the file is created, the first trigger has occurred. And when the second file will be created, the next tr trigger will happen. So the file has also been created and the trigger has occurred. So this is how we can trigger a bot using file and folder trigger whenever a new file is created in a folder. So with that we have come to the end of our video discussion where we discussed how to trigger a bot using file and folder triggers whenever a new file is being created in the folder. If you have any queries regarding this video or content then you can raise your queries in the comment section and I will be more than happy to answer all of your queries. In the end I would request all of you to please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification icon so that you can, so that you can receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our YouTube channel. Till then, have a great day.